I have this beehive cutout that I got from the craft section of Walmart for $1.47. And I'm going to start by painting the hive with some Wise Owl Goldenrod. Now you can use any paint colors of your choice. I'm going to give this full coverage going around the raised bees. I'm then going to take a very small foam dabber. I get these in a pack off of Amazon. And I'm going to apply some Wise Owl black paint to the bees. Now the bees are a little raised. So I thought something flat that I could just move around very easily on the raised area would be the easiest way to paint this, avoiding any black paint onto the beehive. Now if you do get a little bit of black paint on the beehive, that's totally fine. It'll just be a small amount where you can just go over it with some more Wise Owl Goldenrod. And I'm going to allow all of this to fully dry. I'm then going to go in to the wing area with some Wise Owl Snow Owl. Now I do not want full coverage. I'm just kind of dry brushing on top of the black. And I'm okay if some of the black still peeks through. And I'm going to do that on both of the raised bees. And again, dry brush is just when you have a little bit of the Snow Owl paint on your brush, not giving full coverage. Once that was dry, I have this oval shape cut out and I'm going to use that to help me create the stripes on the body of the bee. And I'm just going to do a few of those in goldenrod, just using this curve edge of the cutout as a guide. If you have a steady hand, I feel like you could really go into detail with these bees. Now again, if you get a little bit of paint onto the hive, then you're just going to go on top of it with some more of the Wise Owl Goldenrod. And once both the bees were complete, I'm going to let everything fully dry and then I'm going to give it a very light sanding. This is just going to help smooth out the paint. Now I'm not looking for a clean, crisp look, so you can distress it a little bit. And I'm going to remove all the sanding dust and then I'm going to apply some Wise Owl Furniture Salve. This is just a really great top coat and it just helps freshen up the paint after you sand it. And then I just rub it in with a paper towel. Next I have this branch that I got from outside and I'm going to also apply some Wise Owl Furniture Salve. I have these little wood leaf cutouts that I got from Hobby Lobby in a pack and I'm going to paint them with some Wise Owl Dry Time. And while that was still wet, I went on top of it with a little bit of a darker green which is the Wise Owl Botanical. And then I'm going to allow that to fully dry. Now if you do not have branches or sticks in your yard, Hobby Lobby does sell artificial ones. I have this faux leather that you can find at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to trace the hive onto the back side of the faux leather. And then I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to cut a little bit away from the area that I traced because I just want this to cover the back side of the hive so that the slats that are see-through you can now see the black faux leather on the back side. And you can use any material of your choice and I adhered that with some hot glue. I'm going to go back to my stick and I'm going to glue on the leaves that we painted, one on each end of the branches. I'm going to drill two holes at the top of my beehive using my hand drill. And then once I had the two holes, I'm going to string some jute at the top here. I'll cut the jute, leaving it a little long so that I can wrap it around my stick a couple of times. So I'm just wrapping it and then I will tie a knot so that the beehive is hanging from the tree branch. You can cut off any excess jute that you have. 
And then to finish it off, I just took a buffalo check ribbon, made a little bit of a bow, and then I'm going to adhere that to the jute here so that it just hides that little knot. And there we go. Now we just have this really cute beehive decor. You can add any words of your choice or you can leave as is. Thank you so much for watching. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage as well. Have a great day.